hello namaste welcome or welcome back to greeta rose so how are you i hope you're doing good i hope it's an amazing day for you so if you here if you like my content please support my channel if you have already supported me thank you so very much so in the description box i have my instagram page link as well as the text that i'm using will also be listed in the description box so the topic for today messages from your body mind and soul so that is the topic as you can see there are three images to choose from take your time pause the video and choose intuitively okay 1 2 3 uh the time stamps will be in the description box and always remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest i will see you in your group hello namaste group number 1 this is the image that you have chosen let's see what is the message from your body mind and soul so i heard you are ready now you have all the requirements needed for this thing so you can take action now for example a person who is applying for a job they are the perfect fit for the job so they are going to get that job so now you are the perfect candidate for something so go and apply go and do that you are ready now you are ready to achieve this thing now so only you need to be like this eagle who is moving forward like soaring high not being clouded with your self doubt nothing trusting yourself immensely taking that bold step taking that leap of faith and doing it anyways because you are the perfect candidate now you are going to get this you are ready you got this that's what i heard that's the first message here and i even feel like for some of you you are very logical minded person so maybe there is this feeling like maybe i need to take action but you feel like you're not ready but you are actually ready right so maybe there is this feeling okay you know our intuition is like that sometimes uh when we are not taking action towards you know when we are not trusting our intuition and not taking action this intuition is going to come again and again and again sometimes it will be like a little bit uncomfortable because it's going to take you from your um, from your comfort zone you know intuition is not like fear it's not going to make you worry rather this is like a feeling like yeah i have to do this i have to do this i have to do this that's that's the feeling and you will feel uncomfortable until you do that thing right so maybe for some of you there is this lingering feeling of doing something taking action on something and here your spirit team is telling you your body mind and soul is telling you take action go for it make that jump take that leap of faith you are ready i'm hearing like ready set go 1 2 3 go <laughs> no more doubts you you are like the eagle like eagle uh, rises above the problems rises above the clouds the temporary problems and and moves forward like that only don't don't let these temporary problems or the self doubt stop you in any way now go you are ready you are the perfect fit you are the perfect candidate for this thing that's what i'm hearing maybe this is a move that you want to make maybe this is some sort of shift that you want to make in your life it can be anything maybe you want to start something learn something new go ahead you are ready something good will happen so don't be focused on the outcome rather than just uh, honor this feeling and go for it they are telling you to honor your own feelings yes maybe it's not logical what you are feeling like learning uh piano when you are 40 might not be a logical thing to do maybe it is like people will be like oh i'm 40 i cannot learn it but this is a feeling that you have honor that feeling now you're getting this feeling because you have the resources inside of you or maybe you have the money to have that take that piano lessons go for it yeah so let's see more snakes might be uh, something you have seen recently snakes i'm seeing snakes here snakes is also about transformation yeah again this is the time to shed that get out of your comfort zone yeah oh wow we have the cat you know oh, wow uh, krishna is going to protect you lord krishna is going to protect you with this cat and you know it it came like this and i feel like you don't have to worry about um uh, you getting out of your comfort zone actually because you protected your safe this thing oh my god look 
this thing is in the hands of Krishna. You're protected. Like divine is, if you don't believe in Lord Krishna, it's like divine, the higher power is with you, protecting you right now. Take that chance. Get out of your comfort zone because cats have, they have their boundaries, right? They don't uh, trust very easily. I feel like it, it takes time for them to uh, get, get to, you know, they take their time to get to know new people, right? Like that only. It's okay if you feel like you need more time, but don't discard this thing that you're feeling right now. It's time to take action, okay? You're in the hands of the universe. You're protected. You're safe. Yeah, now it's time to play. Now it's time to go outside and play. Now it's time to go outside and play. For some of you, really, you got to start some activity. You need to move your body more. Maybe you are uh, not going outside that much. You're not uh, going outside in nature that much. Maybe you're at homes or indoors. This is a feeling for some of you. You might be feeling like, I need to start doing this sport. Or I need to learn this new activity. I need to learn... Mm, I need to start running maybe for some of you. Go ahead, for go ahead, go, go. Start playing. That's what the energy is here. Oh, my cat is here. <laughs> Anyways, let's do. Okay. So. So let's see what the cards have to add. What your body, mind, soul wants you to know. Group number one. And for some of you, it feels like this will be an unexpected thing. Like one day you will wake up and you will be like thinking, I want to do this thing. I want to learn this thing. And then you're like, oh, I'm just thinking it's not logical right now. And you will like try to let go of that thing. But this feeling will persist for many, many days. Or maybe already this is something that has been there in your um, heart for a while now. And here it's time to start playing. It's time to take action. That's what it is. And you're very, very protected with this thing. So don't be afraid to get out of your boundary, right? Like maybe you have this boundary, like I cannot do this this way. You know, maybe limited mindset. Like after 40, I didn't think that I've learned that. Change that. Yeah, so let's see more. What is the message from your body, mind and soul group number one? I'm seeing an umbrella. Definitely you're very safe and protected. You're protected from the harm. You're protected from the rain. You're protected because your umbrella is very strong here. Expression. Wow. I, I really feel like for some of you, you feel like you are the certain age, so you cannot dress like dress like this way, or you cannot do this thing way, this way. Maybe I'm uh, I'm of this age, so I cannot do that. I cannot act like a child because I'm like this. But you are uh, feeling like you need to do something that is not your age, and that's why this resistance is there. And this expression card also is telling you to express yourself, express your inner child, right? There is something that you want to do. There is something that you want to learn. And this is time for that expression. This is time for, for you to take action on this thing. Yeah. Don't, don't let any gender thing or any uh, age thing come in between this thing, right? Or don't let any doubt or um, you feeling like you're not good enough make you stop expressing this desire. This is the time to express it and go forward with it. That's what it is. It is going to make you so happy when you will do this. Even if it means like you going out and um, playing football, for half an hour, it will really change your energy in a beautiful way. It will give you so much of vitality, so much of energy here. So start doing that thing. For everyone, it's going to be different. So get out. 
go outdoors play for some of it's literally playing <laughs> like a child like have doing a sport for other people it can be different but it's it's related to your expression because when you start doing it you will feel much better physically as well as mentally yeah. mentally also you will be you will be seeing that you are more happy you will be seeing that you are smiling more when you will be doing this thing so so start doing it yeah and i feel like you don't have to hold yourself in any way if you need to express something you look don't you don't have to hold back your feelings you might be as you might be someone who doesn't like to cry in front of other people so you kind of stop yourself you don't have to do that it's not a bad emotion it's actually a good one crying it's not it will not make you weak it's just the society has labeled that when we cry we are weak we are not you're not it's it's actually a it's it's it, it requires a lot of strength to do it actually right so don't be afraid of expressing your authentic self group number 1 yeah that's what your body mind soul is telling you somehow somewhere you're not uh expressing yourself in a way that makes you happy you're holding yourself back and your your intuition is telling you don't hold hold yourself back anymore yeah maybe because of your family because of your loved ones or, or because of what you do or because of your age and somehow somewhere you are actually putting a boundary that is not even required okay we have the knight of pentacles yeah look again the seven of swords and knight of pentacles you don't have to do this thing in a very fast manner right if you need time to think about it okay think about it there is no no need for that but for the with the seven of swords i can see self sabotage here um you becoming your own villain in a way right you becoming the obstacle in your own path you come your doubts coming in your own way right you thinking ahead you thinking too much right with this knight of pentacles if you look knight of pentacles is an uh, planner he plans very well but at the same time this planning this overthinking is actually stopping you from expressing yourself from doing something that makes you happy yeah planning is a very good thing but when we start thinking how things will happen in the future when we start planning every small 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 details it's going to be so so yeah it is going to give you so much of anxiety right and that's the reason you might not be able to do do the small things that makes you happy because you are in this bigger picture planning your future um yeah <laughs> uh, yeah but we don't have to think that much ahead because there will be something different that will happen that can change your life right so that's one thing i have to say here that's what your body body mind and soul is telling you you don't have to prepare for your whole future right now you don't have to plan for your whole future right now because there will be some sort of changes uh yeah that will come and the things that you're thinking will not matter at all right there will be solutions that will come out of nowhere uh, so right now this is not the time to self sabotage because here this is the time to soar like a eagle go for it have more fun have more play do something that makes you feel like you're expressing yourself authentically authentically okay that's what it is uh so let's see more yeah we have the death and the rebirth and we have the four of wands i feel like look the death coming in this reverse is like you're so afraid um, to do this thing i i really feel like that something is stopping you what is stopping you from listening to yourself you know that you want to learn this thing you want to do this thing there is so much that is like it feels like something is 
ready to get expressed but it's like you stop all the time whenever it is uh, it is you know sometimes we want to express something and we stop ourselves that's the feeling here you try, try to stop yourself and because uh, you're stopping that that's why this thing is not ending right and you're staying in that loop here and it's up to you you can only end this thing with us with the seven of swords whenever you get a chance somehow somewhere you make certain decisions or you think something that is not practical and you don't do it so somehow somewhere you are coming in between your own happiness here i would give you, i will give you an example here so again a person uh, who wants to learn pot pot pottery you love doing pottery and you have been feeling like this and you walk and you see a pottery class right yeah it all sometimes when we think something when we are looking for something we will find it because uh, yeah that's how it is whatever it is information whatever we are looking we will find it and you find it and maybe you go inside of it inside and then you feel like you need to go and submit for a class you want to learn this and then you see someone who is uh, who is outside and you know that person and you get afraid i don't know why but maybe for some of you this is why you used to learn pottery maybe you have certain things or maybe you feel like this person will judge me and then you just ran out of that without signing up for the class right uh, it's just an example uh, yeah or maybe you feel like you're not good enough maybe you see pot uh, people doing it and they're doing it in a very beautiful way and you sometimes kind of doubt yourself your own creativity and you're like oh maybe i will just make uh, fun of myself like when i will do this thing when i'll learn this thing maybe i'll not do it properly and people will make fun of me so you just get out of it you kind of self sabotage yourself maybe you're self sabotaging a lot of opportunities as well and that's why you're in this loop here so somehow somewhere you are you are coming in between your own stability right because of too much of planning that you're doing because of too much of overthinking that you're doing so you're not listening to that intuitive nudge again our intuition is not going to give us like a one page explanation on why you should do it it will just give this message like go and do this today go and play go and learn this uh, pottery class or maybe you see something uh, like when when you're scrolling it will be like yeah just go and sign this class that's it but our mind will come in and like oh my god if i pay this much will it give me any return am i wasting my time so there is so much to look forward yeah i'm not saying that you don't have to uh, contemplate about it contemplate but then to you might even though you feel like you need to do it you might come in between your thoughts will come and your fear will give you like two or three page or whole book of essays like why you shouldn't do something right and that's what the seven of swords is so that's how you are stopping this that's what your body mind and soul is telling you to not do that and listen to it okay okay let's move on to the next cards what your body mind and soul wants you to know there is something that you have to end and you're not ending it and that is that is coming in between your between the celebration that is wanting to come it feels like universe want to give you a package and you always give the wrong address and that's why this package is not reaching you that's the feeling i'm getting here so let's see that's what your body mind and soul wants you to know okay so you have study ah something some sort of new study online classes i did mention like poetry classes maybe there is something that you want to study but you feel like somehow somewhere it's not your age it will not do you any good it's just my age has gone i cannot do that and yes uh, doing that will take a lot of courage maybe something uh, some sort of shame or guilt is associated with it that's what you need to release spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again from time to time it is important to go back and learn whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new this is an opportunity to expand your mind again i love football get out of your comfort zone guys do this thing go outside and play and do learn maybe you were someone who used to play football 
it's time to do it again <laughs> right anything it can be right again maybe you were someone who has has some information regarding pottery or maybe there is something that you want to learn you're not expressing it you're kind of coming in between yourself that's what the message is it's time to get back to it so let's see let's move on to the chakra cards let's see what else for group number one what is the messages from your body mind and soul body mind and soul the blue color is strong here right we have the blue throat chakra yeah expressing yourself your throat chakra you need to work on your throat chakra expressing yourself not afraid to share your opinion not afraid to express yourself in whatever way that brings you happiness that gives you joy do that because the more you express that is very authentic to you it will bring more joy joy is the key here okay safety hmm safety for some of you again you are not ready to get out of your comfort zone because you might have uh, made a safety nest nest for you right now and doing something that is uh, different from your safety nets means you you might feel like that it's unsafe and that's why the seven of swords energy is coming in and telling you yeah this is unsafe you cannot do it even it even if it is for your own growth it can come right and that's what you need to understand here that's what you need to work on right yeah for some of you root chakra again this can be related with financial safety like if i learn this new uh, online course i'll be i will be spending this much money what if this money is wasted what if i'm not getting anything out of it but you don't even realize how much good it will give you right so that's that's what the over planning is here and that's the reason of your own self sabotage and and then you will be wondering why i'm not feeling that joy why i'm not feeling happy right and here that's the thing you need to get out of your safety zone group number one i let go of the need of, for protection when i realize that i'm safe yes what is the meaning for you guys what you relate with protection having this amount of money means protection what yeah that's that is something that you need to work on or change maybe you have certain concept regarding protection that's why you're not taking that leap of faith or that bold that's why you're not trusting your instincts right that's why there is so, so much of over planning and overthinking or maybe you think too much of your future like i have to save this much for my 10 years and what is happening is money is energy in a way right <laughs> you got to circulate money yes you need to save but don't save for for 10 years because money can come in any way right so that over planning can be a problem here right now it's a very good thing but when we do over everything in balance right when we do over plan you know it's not going to work out i trust my instincts and inner guidance to help navigate me through life twists and turns i can cope with adversity adversity because i'm always there for myself in a loving and supporting way i'm safe it's time to be safe with the new Call, call Krishna. Krishna is going to help you. Feel, he will make you feel safe. Sometimes we rely on the outer to feel safe rather than feeling safe inside. So here you've got to cut that and feel safe from within. Yeah. So maybe there is some sort of belief system related to safety. That is what you need to change. Let's see the final messages for group number one. Messages from your body, mind and soul. Group number one. I heard, let your light shine, guys. Don't stop your own shine because of all those overthinking. You, you self sabotage yourself. Maybe it's because of your perfectionism. Okay, we have the light beings and insight. Number thirty-five and number thirteen. Oh, number thirteen reduces to number four. It, it, it is regarding something with stability here, guys. Yeah, oh, we have this card as well. Look, I did let your light shine, guys. Express yourself. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Don't hold your emotions back. 
don't hold yourself from saying saying something that you want to say right don't hold yourself from trusting your own instincts don't hold yourself back from learning something new yeah yes universe is with you like the whole universe the whole light beings are with you you're safe particularly lord krishna's energy is there and yeah light beings and again it feels like this person is meditating you know again the root chakra work on your root chakra guys and the more you work on your root chakra and you balance it as you're getting grounded you will know exactly you will have the insight like this is the thing this is the thing uh, this is the thing this is the limited belief that is stopping me from taking action this is why i said sabotage once you ground your root chakra you will know yeah you have associated a meaning to safety and th- because of this thing you sometimes self sabotage because it it means you 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 know subconsciously you will feel like you're not safe because you have this meaning related to safety so you need to work on that guys that's what it is what safety means to you what is the yeah yeah what is safety for you guys write about it so you will know more about it you will get some sort of insight regarding that oh i i i resonate this with safety having this much amount of money is safety for me and that's why whenever i feel like i need to spend this much for this thing i feel like it's not needed so i kind of come in my own way right yeah so yes that's the question you need to ask yourself what is safety to you yeah there is some sort of limited belief here and that is stopping you from expressing yourself doing something that you want to do learning something that you want to learn or maybe some sort of shame guilt maybe that's also something safe uh, i will be safe if i do this maybe someone will, will criticize me if i show myself like this someone will criticize me like that kind of thing so that's why you're saying staying in the safety nest and so whenever you get an opportunity to get out or to change that you overplan you over analyze and you stop yourself from that so that's that's what the information is here this is something that you will have to work on and as you work on you will be able to find the balance safety inside of you actually you know the safety the thing is it's not outside of us it's actually inside of us the more we are relying on the outside that's when we sabotage ourselves so yeah so that's what the message is for group number 1 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye hello group number 2 this is the image that you have chosen let's see what is the message for you guys from your body mind and soul so the first thing i heard was you are doing amazing you are seeing the truth you're connecting the dots so keep on doing whatever you're doing because it's working out in your favor right now maybe you're not seeing the results but everything is working out it's happening okay maybe you haven't gotten the results that you want but you are going to get it no matter what so keep doing so i feel like your body mind and soul is tell, telling you to nurture yourself more to take care of yourself more keep doing the work that you're doing uh, because it's raising your vibration it's expanding your consciousness and your healing at every level so keep doing the amazing thing that you are doing because you are going to become the version that you always wanted to become so let's see uh, the message from your body mind and soul what your body mind and soul wants you to know group number 2 the messages from your body mind and soul i'm seeing dolphins and dolphins for me is represents playfulness uh it represent happiness uh so keep riding the wave keep going yeah that's what it is keep going keep uh trusting your heart because you are right now trusting your intuition you're seeing the truth and you're trusting and you keep you're moving forward keep keep moving forward right that's what the message is here okay you have a lot of chance here as well uh so yeah oh did a do uh, yeah i i just um Uh, to, uh, told about like you know look you know where you need to go guys keep going keep moving forward keep on riding the wave here that's important 
again we have the eye you this is the image that you have chosen you have the ohorus eye your thoughts are powerful your thoughts are magnetic and we have the owl as well so yes you know deep inside what you need to do where you need to go trust your inner compass keep moving forward because you're healing right now you are healing yes really i feel like for many of you you might be feeling like i'm doing whatever i'm i'm i'm, I'm intuitively feeling i know i'm doing what is best for me but i'm not seeing the results or oh, just wait for a moment uh, because you're healing at every level you're healing uh, you're healing your body is healing everything is healing here that's why but as uh, as you you know healing is a process it will take time but you are leveling up i see that group number two you are you are going to become the best version of you that you always wanted to become so commit commit right now whatever you're doing be committed to it don't give up on it don't think that it's not working commit 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 keep going keep going like this only keep riding the wave you are seeing the truth of you are who you are you have already come halfway now halfway to go and you will get there you will reach the destination with the sea ship it's just a like the ship it's traveling yeah so enjoy the journey right now because you're doing everything correct you're knowing who you are you're understanding the depths of you you're finding your own inner tre treasure so there is more to find that's what i'm getting here with this crown the honor the rex respect the recognition that all you want you you will get it so right now again keep moving forward like again you keep the more you keep moving forward things will move forward so maybe for some of you right now you feel like i'm moving forward i'm doing everything but things are not moving forward it's just an illusion things are going to move forward so so nurture yourself do whatever you're doing trust your own inner guide trust your own inner wisdom and we have the cat as well and again you are you are someone who is very intuitive very psychic energy i'm getting here your dreams also give you answers so trust your dreams as well okay trust um, trust your inner compass yeah uh, we have the number 8 with the saturn you know maybe you have might have always the told like that oh my saturn Saturn makes me do things. Uh, Saturn gives makes me do a lot of hard work, right? Saturn is like like the strict father. But when Saturn chooses to reward, it's going to be so amazing. So much you will get. There is so much, uh, so much that you will be getting here. Right now, just be patient. You know what what you're doing is correct. So keep moving forward. Don't doubt. And with this number eight, there is so much infinite possibilities that is available for you guys. There is so much of sweetness. Yeah, bees can talk about productivity. Productivity. Maybe the hard work that you're doing, you are going to see the rewards. Uh, but for me, bees, I always resonate with them. The sweetness they give, the honey, right? Says. So yeah, you are going to give this. You are going to get the sweetness. Not only for yourself, for all the people who you love, you care. You you will have enough, so you can give it to other people. Maybe one of the uh, wishes that you have in your mind is like to, uh, in your heart is to, uh, is to help your family, to give your to give your family to your loved ones, everything. And yes, you will be able to get that level of success here. So here, one thing I'm seriously, strongly feeling is like, be committed to your task. Keep on doing whatever you're doing because whatever you're doing, it's going to pay off. Yeah, you're going to see the results here. Yeah. Hmm. That is what it is. <laughs> so don't doubt here. Keep moving forward. Like this witch. Which, uh, trust in your own manifestation skills again with this which your manifestation skills are very strong your thoughts are very magnetic uh, keep keep focusing on the positive thoughts because i feel like you're doing that already you have a lot of inner wisdom knowledge that you're accessing trust it keep moving forward yeah so let's see you're coming in your power, I feel like that. Sovereignty is the word. I didn't pronounce it very well, but that's what it is. You're becoming this empowered version of you that can empower other people. One, one you know, that's the energy that I'm getting, getting here. What your body, mind and soul wants you to know is that once you start, heal, once you heal, you will be able to heal other people, right? Once a daughter heals, they can heal their mother. 
once a son heals they can heal their mother or father that's what the energy is once you heal you will be able to heal other people yeah you are the pattern breaker you are the cycle breaker in a way i feel like that keep going you're doing amazing you are doing amazing that's what your body mind and soul is telling you trust your instincts trust your body messages you can actually decode the messages from your body you know when you need to rest you know when you need to take action your body gives you messages so always trust that more than your mind trust your body <laughs> i feel like that uh yeah let's see more i i heard you are a star seed for some of you you might be thinking about it maybe you're wrong maybe you're uh, learning more about star seeds maybe you're reading books regarding it yes keep going right path so let's see what else your body mind and soul is telling you this commitment that you are committed you're committed to something with this ring don't worry about the outcome because the outcome is going to be so 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 much better than you really anticipate here yeah you're just anticipating like one by four you're going to get so much more than that <laughs> that's what it feels like here so your body is telling you to rest more as well yeah your body is telling you to rest more because there is there is something that you're birthing some maybe a idea you're birthing or something new you're birthing um so take rest and nourish yourself here wow we got the ancestors and you know did i talk about the you are the chain breaker uh, yes i feel like that you are definitely the chain breaker of your family <laughs> you are the one who is doing something different uh, yeah you are the one who is who is actually already living a life that is very different from your family as you grow as your consciousness grow as you expand as you level up you will be able to help other people to level up uh, you know again it feels like uh, whenever you, you know you were born with so much potential you had this crown when you were born but the people places situations took that crown away from crown away from you now you're getting your crown back that's what i feel like and as you get your crown back you are going to help other people you're very connected with your ancestors because we have the tree of life as well with this ancestors card coming here you are here to heal your ancestry line i know maybe some of you don't like it to hear but that's what you're doing you're already doing it you're changing I, it really feels like uh, you're changing you're cutting cords with that old old you know you may be in your ancestry line there is something that is playing off because of the uh, traditions you are the one who is breaking the chain now the life the coming generation will have in your family is going to be so much different again it can be with uh finance financial things right maybe all uh, your family your ancestors have fa faced financial troubles they they were not able to access the good things right maybe because of the lack of money but here you are changing the mindset with money you're changing you're becoming the person who is breaking that cycle for the coming generation and through you yeah you are a medium through which other people are getting their success because knowledge is very important in our life you are the one who is giving the knowledge and through that knowledge everyone in your life in your family yeah in your ancestry they are changing uh, their life that's what it feels like you're breaking the gen generational trauma and something like that yeah that's what it feels like you're doing an amazing job even though you realize it or not whatever you're doing you're doing this so you are the one who is thinking differently from your family right in some way you're already doing it if it resonates you're you're, you're right now i feel like group number 2 you're not living the life like other people in your in your family and as you as you level up you because you're in this journey of leveling up you're in this journey of uh, getting to know about yourself more you are your mindset is shifting your your expanding your consciousness the connection that you have with souls is expanding so you're getting the knowledge wisdom 
yeah that is that is true that is not full of illusion and uh, we have been staying in this illusion our family right many people stay in illusion because we are so conditioned by the society or so conditioned by the religion right and here you are accessing the truth and yes you will be offering that truth to your family yes it's it's not going to be an easy journey because the way you have accepted these new ideas many people in your family might not accept those new new ideas but slowly but surely things are going to change <laughs> that's what it is so yeah your ancestors are with with you yeah they didn't know what they were doing wrong but now as they have uh, yeah they they passed on and they got a lot of awareness they are helping you in this journey you're not alone here yeah so let's see more yeah again learning we have the number 43 it reduces to number 7 maybe your family was uh, religious but at the same time they didn't meditate they didn't take care of their health that much they stressed a lot maybe you come from a family where your mother overthinks your sister overthinks your brother overthinks everything is overthinking overthinking rather than trusting themselves you have seen your mother doubting your father doubting right uh, maybe uh, you come from a place where even though if there is money they lack lack mindset is there right because they save 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 for the future and they don't spend the money because they're so afraid to spend spend the money you're all changing that concept i really feel like that you are the chain breaker you know sometimes we have to change cha uh, break the chain in order to have a different reality and you're the one i know it's a big task big responsibility but you're you're doing amazing already your body mind and soul is telling you it feels like you're the chosen one i have to say group number two whether you accept it or not, I feel like you are the one. Yeah, we have page of new ideas. Yes, page of pentacles. These new ideas that are so new to other people. But that's what the truth is. You are here to spread that. Everyone is spreading good, bad news, negative news. You are here to spread the good news. That yes, uh, we have a solution to every uh, problem there is infinite possibilities to problems right you're the one who is bringing the good news yes let's see it will take time for everyone to understand you yes new ideas new concepts that not that your people you know the people around you have not heard uh, it's again this uh, pig is like the change you're the one who's bringing the change in people's mindset again younger generation will be more willing to accept these new ideas uh, and the older generation might not be that easily uh, uh, yeah they might not uh, take it very easily but the newer generation uh, will be more more willing to accept these new ideas that's something I'm seeing here yeah Look, again, this is all happening because you, you are someone who is working on it. You are, you will be finding the light within yourself first. You will be, you are already in this, in this energy with this hermit. That's what I feel like. You are already learning so much. You have already learned so much. And now it's your time to give that wisdom, that knowledge that you have to other people. It talks about your purpose. That's what it is. Your body, mind and soul is talking about your purpose. You're doing amazing. You don't have to be hard on yourself. Yes, you cannot change everyone in an instant. You have learned so much. I, I feel like with this hermit energy, you already you have learned so much about yourself. You're or you're in the and you feel like there is so much to learn. Yes, that's true. There is so much to learn about yourself because you have so much in you um, that you have to learn. Yes, at the same time, you will be seeing that people around you, even though you give them the knowledge, wisdom, they are not using it in a way that will help them. Uh, one of the advice I feel like your body, mind and soul is telling you is to work with people um, who are younger, a younger generation. Like if you have uh, nephews or nieces, work with them. They will be more willing to take the information, take, uh, they will be willing to accept the truth that you have to show, right? Uh, so they don't have to deal with 
the issues that your family dealt with, right? So that's what it is. Start with maybe your, yeah, I really feel like for some of you, maybe your sisters are also not that, um, they are not accepting this knowledge that you have to share with them. Yeah, they're not getting it. Maybe they feel like life is tough because they have gone through a lot. Uh, so, so work with the younger people. Work with younger people. That's one thing I'm seeing here. Hmm. Work with younger people. <laughs> that is the message here. Let's see more. What is the message for group number two? And you know what? You don't have to do everything. Don't take everyone's responsibility. That is also one thing I feel like your body, mind, soul is telling you. You can help people. You can give the knowledge, the wisdom. But don't let that, that pull you down in any way. Sometimes what happens is we try to give them knowledge and someone says something criticizing you. You might feel very down. You might feel very sad. That's something that you don't have to take. It's only because they, they are not in that vibration, that energy to accept the truth that you are accepting. And that's why I feel like the younger generation, the younger people will be more accepting and willing to do something. Uh, yeah, will will see the truth that you're seeing and willing to change the things. Yeah, that's, that's it. That is it. That is it. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, I hope it's making sense. That's what your body, mind and soul is telling you. Uh, you cannot... Yeah, you cannot heal everyone. I feel like you are someone who is becoming a, a powerful version of you. Already you are, you, are at, you are happy where you are. And yes, you know there is so much more to achieve. But you are in a happy, happy, safe place. I feel like that. But at the same time, there is this feeling like you need to help people. You need to be of service. And what happens when you're giving that service or helping people, um, you feel like you're responsible for their healing. And that's something you need to cut, your, uh, release yourself from that because you cannot be responsible for anyone's healing your job is to spread the message to give the service that's it other thing it's their responsibilities it's divine's responsibilities it's not yours so don't take the baggage that you don't have to carry here yeah again when you start taking those baggage you will not be able to uh, do your work because you feel like it's so heavy that i have to uh, feel what other people are feeling no you don't have to feel what other people are feeling you you, you shouldn't do that to yourself so if you feel like you are resp if you're pro pro providing a service and you are responsible for their healing no it's their responsibility to work on it you are only a channel like you are only a medium to help them to give them information the work should be done by them you cannot do the work for them Ah, oh, I feel like many of you need to hear that. That's what it is. Because I feel like somehow, somewhere, this thing stops you from uh, openly sharing your gifts. Yeah. That's why I feel like it's better to work with younger people for you guys. Okay? I feel like with this page of pentacles and page of cups, I, I strongly feel like that. Uh, let's see more what your body, mind and soul wants you to know. So group number. Oh, father's love. Oh, For some of you healing uh, the relationship you have with your father, I even feel like that. If you had a troubled relationship with your father, that's also healing. That's what your body, mind and soul was is telling you. And again, for some of you, you might be thinking about your past, how your father treated you. Uh, you know, maybe there is some sort of meaning that you, uh, you assigned um, uh, with what your father did and you're realizing it's that that is not the meaning and you're uh, able to release it that is also something i'm feeling here and again this could be with your masculinity as well you might have thought that i cannot do this i cannot be this i cannot do everything by myself i cannot be independent and i feel like that's what is you're breaking free from you're becoming a person who can be independent yet you can be dependent right uh, you might have always felt like you're always dependent you need a hand uh, to hold then only you will work walk forward and you're breaking free from that yeah it, it has been a very challenging thing to do right because you you felt like that you cannot do so many things now you are becoming a person who is like yes i can do it 
because you're healing this father wound i feel like that somehow something happened maybe you don't even remember that uh, that 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 could have led to feel you like that you're not good enough and you're healing that maybe a word from your father that hurt hurt your inner child right and thought that uh, that you are not independent you cannot become independent you cannot do things by yourself you are maybe you felt like you're dumb or you felt like that you're not intelligent you might have felt like you need to rely on other people um you cannot do things by yourself so maybe that's why you had uh, felt like you are uh, you you are indecisive maybe you have felt like oh I, i need like approval from 100 people to do something because because i cannot you, you might have gone through that i feel like you've already healed that thing uh, but there is this uh, this this uh, this thing i feel like with this father's love you're healing that you're healing that masculinity thing yeah that's what i feel like that you can also do you can also achieve things you can get the success that you want to do maybe you were someone in the past you thought that you don't have any life purpose you're just for um caring for other people doing what other people are telling you uh, you cannot be your own decision maker you might have felt like that a lot of time uh, i feel like that's what is that is what you're healing you're becoming your you're wearing your own crown the queen crown again if you look uh, the energy of the queen she is the one who directs the king right she is the she is the one who is thinking she is the one who is ordering and this is the king sometimes listens to the queen and you're becoming that right yeah uh, it feels like you might have felt like you're not good enough you're useless i cannot do that i cannot do this maybe because uh, it is with your inner child i feel like that you're healing your inner child you have you had assigned a meaning that was not truth and you're finally releasing it and that's the reason if there has been an area in your life that was very hard for you guys to achieve success it was because of this and i feel like finally you're releasing that with this hermit you are understanding that and you will be able to get the success in the area of your life in where you didn't get the success because this was an issue for you guys uh i feel like uh, you you felt like you're not talented enough you know masculinity means going taking action doing things you know getting the success showing yourself expressing yourself uh, so you might have felt somehow somewhere you don't have the talent you cannot do that you're not good enough you're useless so you tried to people please right you tried to fit in where you didn't have to and that's how you lost your power your personal power you, you gave your personal power to every uh, some you know people around you but finally i see that you're taking that personal power and uh, i <laughs> with this crown that's what i feel like you're taking your personal power back you're balancing your masculinity and femininity these two energy yin and yang it's balancing here and again that that means you're healing that relationship with this father figure of yours again this is the masculinity it's not uh, it maybe not with father it could be because of the men right it can be that uh, that where uh, maybe if you're a female you might have felt like uh, because of your gender you cannot do that you cannot be that this is all something uh, that was uh that was because of the society now you're seeing the truth and and you're healing that you know wo- in a child wound and you're balancing that that's uh, that is something is happening and that's why i feel like your body mind and soul is telling you um it's okay if you're not seeing the success that you want to see right now because you're healing this thing you're in the process of healing this thing as you release this thing you will be able to get to the other side you will be able to get to the destination you will soon get to the destination because you're healing it right now so yes i hope it made sense because i have goosebumps yeah so let's see more a group number 2 you're coming in your power you can have anything that you want guys you can have anything Oh you have the third eye uh, I think it's the third eye right again uh, you chose the eye you're seeing the truth you're seeing and again the om oh in your um, your om right you are a you're definitely someone who is a psychic okay <laughs> your intuition is on point you can see the truth that not other people are see, uh, have seen and again this truth that uh, that you didn't see before you will be seeing of this inner child wound and you're healing that 
and that's how you are going to get the peace of mind and that's how you're going to get to the other side this is something that you're healing right now with these two cards that's what i'm feeling here and of course you are very psychic you're very intuitive you can trust your intuition so the final message here I'm not reading because there is a message in the back of the deck, but I don't feel like that's needed because this is the message I'm getting very strongly from these two cards. So let's see the final message here for group number two. Oh, wow. As I was talking, uh, the yin and yang, right? And you have the yin, yin and yang. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> wow, we have nothing has gone wrong. Nothing has gone wrong. Nothing is wrong with you as, as well. You know, sometimes you might have felt like that. I'm not good enough. Maybe there might have been comparisons uh, that have been um, uh, given to you guys when you were young. When you were young, maybe you were compared to your siblings or your friends. And that could have led to you feeling like you're good, not good enough, that you have to do more to prove. You have to put more effort. And yes, it's not your problem. It's not something, uh, is, yeah, it's not your problem. And I feel like that you're releasing that, you're releasing that meaning that you have attached, that you're not good enough, that you have to do more. Uh, I feel like that's, that's something you're changing and this masculine and feminine energy, you're balancing that and you're definitely healing uh, an inner child wound. And I feel like if there has been an area in your life, you know, I feel like uh, not every area of your life is uh, in trouble. I really feel like that only one specific area of your life maybe you have felt like there is a la lack right and that area of your life you're understanding why you didn't have that success it was because of this kind of thing that was being said to you or told you, or an experience that made you feel like that you're not good enough and i see that you are you are uh, connecting the dots you're seeing the truth of that and you're healing it and your ancestors uh, are also there for you guys you're not alone in this so keep on doing whatever you're doing you're doing amazing maybe you're doing you're spreading that kind of good awareness to people but there is something that was hidden for you from you you know and i feel like for some of you you might be understanding that you're healing this wound for other people i i really feel like you're you don't have that awareness right now and this reading is telling you that you're you're healing this wound and as you heal this wound things are going to get balanced and the area again i'm repeating this and the area that you you have felt like no matter how much hard work you do there is not that much success that area is going to be fruitful for you guys so yeah nothing has gone wrong you're not wrong uh, it's just the way sometimes things happen right so i feel like uh, you will be forgiving yourself you will be forgiving everyone in the situation and you're going to unlearn this thing that your inner child has assigned meaning, you're changing that meaning. And as you change meaning, things are going to get balanced because you're seeing the truth. And yes, be ready to become the best version that you always wanted to become. You're ready. I, I feel like your body, mind and soul is telling as you heal, as you're at this end of the healing journey, as you heal that, be prepared to reach the destination. You're going to reach wherever you wanted to reach. Group number two, that's the message here. Uh, so that's all I have for group number um, two. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. This -bye. is the group number three. This is the image that you have chosen. So let's see what is the message from your body, mind and soul. So I will start with the charms and then we will move on to the cards here. So let's see. Uh, if I see any image or anything, I will uh, share that information. I'm seeing, you know, the deer. And for me, deers are the nurturers. So nurturing yourself is very important for you guys. How can you nurture yourself, guys? That's the question that you have to ask and make yourself a priority. For some of you, this can be you need, you need to know and sh give time to someone. Maybe there is someone around you who needs that nourishment from you. So nourish them, them as well. Okay. Because I'm seeing a deer and the child of a deer. Okay, so if you are new mothers or if there is someone who is there around you who needs that nurturing, give them time, energy, okay? I'm even seeing a ring. Oh, maybe something that you're wishing for is going to happen. <laughs> a ring, a commitment. Some, uh, yeah, there is some sort of commitment that is happening here. I'm seeing a ring very, very clearly here. A blue colored ring, okay? So a uh, blue stone, blue stone ring. Okay, let's see. 
what else oh i am seeing pink shoes as well okay small pink shoes i hope it means something it's just a clue to some of you okay so let's see oh wow if you're planning some sort of travel your body mind and soul is telling you don't uh, be stressed about it you are going to be protected you are going to be safe uh, if it if it's a trip that you're taking by yourself um ah maybe for some of you if your mothers and you're leaving your child behind and taking a trip by yourself don't worry there is someone around you who will be committing to them and giving them the nourishment that you're giving so don't don't think too much and tire yourself okay that's one thing i'm seeing here ah yeah go you go and chase your dreams guys maybe something uh, some sort of opportunity has come for that you will have to take a break from what you're doing and you have to travel for something so go chase your dreams dreams okay be more hopeful be more optimistic go open the lock go 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 for it uh, uh yeah if you, if there is someone uh, if if you have someone to take care of and that's why you're worried don't worry they will be taken care of you they they are protected when you're traveling so go uh, chase your dreams uh, listen to your inner feelings like go and do what's what gives you happiness here okay so that's that's what your uh, uh, first message is right so let's see uh, let's see what else for group number 3 You are in a bubble, guys. You're very protected. You're very safe, and the people you care for, they are also very protected, protected and very safe. Maybe there is someone around you who, who, uh, whenever you travel without them, you are very stressed about them. Don't be. Or maybe this is, uh, uh, this is about you going to new places, and you're very, very worried. Uh, don't worry. Everything will be okay. And with this unicorn, trust your intuition. trust your own intuition trust your own magic you are the source of magic you can manifest anything so trust yourself okay so so you have oh my god the unicorn wow unicorn unicorn is a magical creature right and you have the unicorn here is it pegasus or unicorn i don't know yeah maybe it's pegasus but again the magical creatures mystical creatures are here and unicorn for me is uh, almost about um and the intuition your intuition is speaking to you guys you're channeling you're getting the downloads right uh, so always trust your gut okay if you are someone who is going back to work after uh, you know you want to leave your child uh, with someone trust your intuition if you if you're feeling off with that person you have every right to change that okay as a mother or, or as a father yes uh, so trust your intuition here that's what your body is telling your body is you know body mind and soul is telling you uh, without any fear without any uh, guilt regret trust your intuition yeah yeah this is the time to clear the negativity as well toxicity as well if there are people uh, people or if you know this uh, negativity can be in form of uh, information as well uh, social media or um, or a lot of if you are someone who is consuming a lot of information that is not good for you i feel like uh, this is the time to cleanse that release that uh, if there is certain information that gives you a lot of negativity lot of thoughts that is not good for you this is the time to get rid of those kinds of uh, people <laughs> I, yeah if there is someone or uh, someone uh, you know whenever you watch this person you feel a lot of negativity this is the time to let go of them if there is some some sort of information that is not good uh, you know you got to detach yourself from that kind of information if news if you watch news after you watch news you feel very scared uh, fearful or heavy this is the time to cut yourself from those things okay uh, use sage okay for the uh, oh yeah i feel like for some of you your body mind and soul is telling you to uh, light the incense and meditate for 5 minutes every day and visualize yourself in this unicorn world where everything is correct everything is going good please do that okay visualization will help you really and it will give you a lot of uh, optimism uh, optimism as well because i feel like there is some sort of pessimism here um yeah yeah that's what i'm getting here you got to uh, give yourself lot of love uh because i feel like some of you are your thoughts are a little bit negative so, so maybe you're see, hearing songs that are not that great maybe after listening to certain songs 
certain relics it gives you a lot of happiness because you know if you look at the songs they are like manifestation if you keep on repeating certain songs uh, it's like a it's like a it can manifest right so please listen to songs that are good that gives you a lot of inspiration read books that gives you a lot of inspiration uh, watch shows that gives you good vibes not the shows that give you a lot of happiness and if you are someone who is into crime shows or uh, yeah yeah if you are into crime shows or even horror shows and at night you you get scared and you have nightmares really guys your body mind and soul is telling you to please cut off all those things yeah don't watch those things if it's scaring you at night and all or if and again before going to bed please before like one hour before don't use any mobile any ipad nothing if you have a book you can read that but a good book right a book that inspires you or maybe uh, if you are uh, if you are uh, if you have certain religious texts you can go with that as well but please uh, but please avoid all those things right now uh, you i feel like you are very vulnerable you are very sensitive right now so whatever information you get you will take it if it's a negative information you will take it but if it's a positive information you will take that as well so please surround yourself with positive things positive books uh, positive shows good music good songs the relics that uplift you yeah and yes it's you know if you are someone who dreams a lot if you think about unicorn and if if it makes you happy don't sh be shameful for that right yeah if if you know wearing some sort of costumes make you happy do that don't be afraid for that as well so what gives you a lot of optimism what gives you a lot of positivity what brings a lot of joy to your heart that's the thing that you need to do more and more and more so let's see that's what your body mind and soul is telling you so that that that's how you can release your disappointments that's how you can actually um you know you will see that your health will also improve yeah so let's see more for group number the pink color maybe some of your favorite color is pink and pink is all the love you got to give yourself all the love the nourishment that's the thing and and i even feel like you thrive when you give that nourishment nourishing energies to other people you feel more positive when you give that nourishing energy to nourishment to other people do that as well for for some of you it's 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 you giving that nourishing energy to yourself right oh look again meditation page of cups oh maybe there is someone younger around you look again the love right giving them lot of nourishment lot of good energy you know giving them that hug even if you have a child who is a, who is a teenager give them the hug Uh, give them the kisses. It will. It will actually nourish your soul. It will make you so happy. Uh, yeah. And again, maybe for some of you, your body, mind, and soul is telling you that if your child is moving away from you, maybe they are moving away for studies. They are going to be safe. They are going to be secure. You don't have to worry about them because the more you worry, the more it will affect your health in a negative way. So why not instead of thinking about them what they're doing are they eating well why can't you trust them and pray for them and see them being happy eating well living a well life being successful do more of that with the king of cups you've got to balance your um mind here <laughs> right again there is a lot of stress going on going on here yeah sometimes i, I you know i have heard this thing and mothers sometimes put so much of fear onto their kids rather than believing in them like rather than praying in a way that that will give them all the success we are so worried about their success like when sometimes moms are like when they write an examination they are not like oh my god will this my will my child will be able to do it instead of just trusting that divine will take care of everything uh, and yeah sometimes we are so so much focused on the negatives that it affects uh, us in a bad way because the more we stress the more it affects our health so here i feel like 
um, if, if there is someone ar- around you who is moving away, pray for them, see them in uh, a positive light, see them being happy. And you know what, that kind of visualization you will do for other people, it will really, really work. And I ha- I've done that and re- it really helps, you know. It really works. So when you're, see, you know, when you're in your home and you can see your husband coming from office, smiling, he will be smiling. <laughs> if you do that daily, you know, you will see that energy shift. I have experienced that in my life. So again, this is one of the things that your body, mind and soul is telling you. You being peaceful, you pray for other people, you see them in this happiness. The more you do it, you are going to get that positive energy as well as you will see that that is what is happening there you will be seeing them being happy being successful right so that's what that's what i'm getting here they're telling you to go into this fairy land and you know again when we are in the fairy land when we are in this magical land how we are how we will feel how you will feel whenever we see the magical things happening how we feel we feel very positive we feel so hopeful we feel so happy that's the energy your body mind and soul is telling you to be in to be more positive that's the that's the message here you've been encouraged to be more positive okay <laughs> oh wow again we have people here maybe you're worried about people other people right and this oh, one thing one thing i'm very uh, you know in th- all the three images they have these crystal bracelets <laughs> maybe for some of you if you're feeling called to a call to buy a crystal bracelet for any of your loved ones go ahead and do it okay and if you feel like you need to buy for yourself go ahead and do that as well yeah something with crystal bracelets here Hmm. or maybe uh, you are someone who wants to start a crystal business go ahead with it go ahead with it you will go you will shine with this king of wands so you are a lion right you are a person who can create anything in their life But this negative thinking patterns is what that you need to work on. The more you focus on your negative, this 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 will not happen. I can't do it. I I will not be able to make it. But changing that to like, I can try it now and I will take that one step. And I can make it happen. You know, the, the more you change it in your thoughts, the more you will have the courage to take action here. Because the fire is there within you. All you need to do is to take action. So get rid of that negative energy, become a, you know, think yourself, see yourself in a positive light. And whenever you feel like, yeah, right now I need to take action, go ahead and take action. Right. Yeah. Free yourself from that conditioning that, uh, that if I'm not perfect, I'm not going to take action. Everything should be perfect before I take action. No, you don't have to be perfect to take action. You can just take action. You can just show yourself your gifts, whatever it is. And one, one, yeah, that's what it is. Come into your power, right? Yeah. And again, with this uh, salamander, I feel like, you know, there is some sort of manifestation that is coming very soon here. So at this time, please be more positive. There is, there can be a manifestation regarding travel or your business or something regarding other people yeah it could be a it it, maybe you're praying something for your child that's going to happen here so be in this positive mindset here yeah that's that's what i'm getting that's a very specific message here there's a good news that you will be hearing soon so be more positive so let's see what else for group number three serenity oh the most important relationship you can have is with yourself did i mention about nurturing for some of it's nurturing yourself and again positive energy positive thinking patterns cutting all that negative uh, thinking patterns negative news uh, if people are there who gives you a lot of negativity cutting them the most important relationship you can have is with yourself this is the time to honor nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today that's the thing 
that's the thing visualizing for positivity visualize see yourself in a positive space see yourself taking action towards the things that you want to take action see the people that you are really uh, really you know the people that really mean to you guys see them in the positive light do that that's how you will have that serenity so focusing more on optimism is what your body mind and soul is telling you so let's see what else for group number three prayers have power visualization has power right the way you visualize the way you see yourself is powerful right it, it's really it changes our life so visualization is the key if you can join a meditation group if you can join an online meditation group i feel like it will be very good for you guys okay uh, i have to cover this because we have yeah what you need to let go of what kind of thoughts ideas that you need to let go of guys i'll just rotate this uh, you know i'll just keep like this uh, because yeah uh, youtube sometimes and we have the unity yeah some again these these negative thoughts make us feel like that we are not connected we are that we are separate it feels like that it makes us feel like that we are separate from divine we are not we are not one with divine we are not one with ourselves right but once we start letting go of that idea once we start cutting that negativity we see that we are one that once we start thinking positively those positive things happen in our life so what you need to let go of for some of you, many of you i feel like in this group is like this negative thinking patterns is causing a lot of chaos in your life a lot of a lot of stress and stress is never a good thing it can affect your health right so i release rep repressed or trapped emotions and their associated beliefs with ease and grace so what is this belief system you know again our negativity also can be uh, because of that the way we have been raised it's time to change that maybe you have seen your mother worrying about you but you don't have to do for your kids like that you can trust them you can see them having all the success living a best life why yeah see them like that just keep on focusing on that kind of visualization we are so conditioned to think in a negative way that automatically subconsciously we think in a negative way that's what you need to change and again the negative thinking patterns at that time we will not feel like that it affects our health but as we age you know really the stress really it really really gives us all the issues regarding our health i feel like one of the issues that we have diseases is the stress that we take in a daily basis that's what you need to cut uh, where appropriate uh, i let go of those people and situations that persuade hurt and unease i release my investment in staying safe and stuck i surrender trust and allow the light to guide me so what is that you need to release for everyone it's going to be different but definitely there is a certain belief system certain negative thinking that you got to relieve to access the the oneness you are one with yourself this negative thinking this fear takes makes you feel like that you're not one so release that thing I feel like the one of the most message, you know, the big, the biggest thing I'm feeling like the way you pray, the the way you pray, the way you visualize should be different. You seeing yourself having all those things is the way you should pray. If you are worried about your son, see him uh, doing what he loves, smiling. See him smiling. See him laughing. See him, see him enjoying life. if it's about your health that you're worried about instead of seeing you in pain when you pray see yourself um, you know walking hiking whatever you want to do see yourself yeah in one day things will not change but in one day your mindset will shift and again you repeat that repeat that you will see that you are you're letting go of that stress yeah one at a time one at a time that's how you will feel one with the divine so i see the unity and harmony within the polarities that i I am experiencing and choose to align with the center point of balance harmony and love for one and all. Again, you know, we have been taught to believe in God, yet we don't believe in God. Isn't it? We are taught that God protects us, yet we don't believe that. Yet we stress instead of trusting God. 
Do we ever trust God? And here your body, mind and soul is telling you to trust God. Trust your prayers. We pray, but we, do we trust our prayers? So we pray, oh, please give them good health. And then we start seeing themselves in the, in the people that we are praying for. We start seeing them in the hospital bed. We make scenarios that is not true. We worry, we worry. We call them, call them, call them until we get all the information. We stress at home. We can't walk. We can't talk. We can't eat because we are not trusting God. We pray, yet we don't trust. That's what you need to work on. And you can only change that uh, by, by changing your thoughts, by focusing more on your prayers, by believing in your prayers, actually. Sometimes we are the one who is actually coming in our way. We pray for something and then we start doubting it. So what happens with manifestation? Again, Abraham Hicks, she says, right, if you, are, if you want to get into a train, if you don't reach the plat platform by the time, you're not going to get to the train. Even if you run, you will not be able to catch the, catch the train because the speed of yours and the train will be different. So no matter, like that only, our prayer, we are praying for something and universe wants to grant us that thing. But we are operating in a different energy. We are stressing, we are fearing. So how universe will give to us that? So that's what is the important thing. Again, we want to make a business work out for us. Yet we are so afraid of starting something. Yet we are so afraid of, uh, of rejection, of failure. Yeah, and yet we see some, you know, again, if we are doing something, we see something, see ourselves failing. I feel like sometimes it's because we are conditioned in that way and really resonate with it because the way we have been raised, we have not been taught to be more positive, rather we have been taught to be more fearful, right? Maybe that's the thing. And here it's time to change that. Yeah. I open to seeing with fresh eyes a more balanced perspective. The truth of this matter lies between the polarity, sorry, polarities within which I am resonating. Yes. Okay, so let's see the final message. For group number three. So I would, you know, please, if you're stressing a lot, um, you need to cut back on your stress and what kind of information you're consuming, what kind of people you're talking to. Please reflect on that, what you're saying. Are you always talking in complaints? That is all something that you need to be aware of. You know, again, uh, I will recommend the book, Lawrence Coalition, The Power of Your Words. The Power, uh, you know, What is Your Want book. Read that. So let's see the final message here. There is only light. Yes, sometimes we cannot focus on that, right? There is only light. We don't focus on that. We feel like there is darkness. We have to have that darkness in order to get to the light. Sometimes the belief system is like, the more we laugh, something bad will happen. You know, sometimes you might have heard your mother telling you that. Don't laugh too much. Something bad will happen. Instead of telling, telling us, the more you laugh, the more good will come, right? We, we are told that the more you laugh, there will be something bad happening. Why? It's time to change those belief system. It's time to work on that, guys. You can only change that by, by thinking the same thoughts again and again. That the more you laugh, the more good comes. The more you laugh, the more good comes. The more you see light, the more light comes. Again, sometimes, you know, when something good happens, then we are like, oh my God, a lot of good has happened to me today. Maybe something bad will happen. No, nothing bad will happen. Pray like, oh, a lot of good has happened to me today, divine. What more good I will get? Why can't we pray like that? So that's something your body, mind and soul is telling you. So there is a little bit of pessimism that you've got to work on. That's the message for group number three. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.